What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name's Afan and today I'll be reacting to a movie that has been requested quite a lot on this channel. And also I know it has, it has a huge following, so I thought it might be great to uh, take a look at it. Now this movie when it first came out, I was very little, like 5-6 years old little, you know. So I didn't really... I haven't seen any of the movies. I haven't read the books, but my sister have. And actually, there's a little story, interesting story there as well. She uh, was really obsessed with uh, Harry Potter. So she, when I was a little kid, I used to wear round glasses because I have I have fine eyesight. Even these are just blue light um, glasses. But I've gotten used to wearing glasses so much that when I'm not wearing glasses, I feel weird. As a kid, I had this condition, basically. If I would look at the sun, my eyes would turn really red. Not look at it, but if I was just exposed to the sun, my eyes would turn so red, like it would look like I've been crying for the past three days continuously. So I had glasses for that and the glasses look round. And uh, let me put up a picture, actually, if I can find that picture. So yeah, as you can see in this picture, I'm wearing an, uh, my uncle's coat. It's an oversized coat, which is supposed to be like a gown or a robe or something that uh, apparently Harry wears. This was my sister's attempt at making me look like Harry Potter. And then she took me to school to show off to all her girlfriends and they lost their bloody mind. Also, my sister just let me know before she sent me this picture was that the glasses I'm wearing in this photo in particular, this is in my house. So this is not the actual photo that I took in the school. She couldn't find that one. But in this one, I'm actually wearing my grandmom's glasses. And well, you can clearly tell because, well, the glass bigger than my entire face. So there's that anyways. So yeah, um, <laughs> a little story there. But yeah, I, I, I know a little bit about um, the, you know, like it harry like he's this wizard kid i know at some point in this movie at some point in this movie someone better say you're a wizard harry because the amount of times that people have said that to me you're a wizard of fun because i kind of look like him. i don't think i look like him but people apparently think i look like him or looked like him when i was a kid it's ridiculous no one wanted to miss the chance to say that to me and everybody had a smug smile on their face as if they were the first ever human to say that to me i wanted to punch them in their face so if i don't hear that sentence in this movie i'm gonna riot <laughs> anyways yeah i know uh, okay i'll tell you what i know i know harry he's like a wizard <laughs> uh i know he wears a robe I know he wears round glasses. Oh, I know he has like a flash symbol up here because my sister put that on with a marker up here. Uh, <laughs> I know he has like these two friends with him. One's a girl, one's a boy. And they're in a school where they learn like magic and shit. And I know at one point I, I've seen this scene like my, when my sister was watching and I'm just walking by. I've seen this. So at one point he's like talking to a snake or something. Oh, I've seen like a flying car as well. Like, obviously i don't know the context or anything i've just there what she was watching the movie and i was just walking by look and i was like what the hell is going on down there <laughs> so yeah i i know very little about the world but i kind of am familiar i mean it's kind of hard not to be familiar with this world i mean how famous it is and how much you know people like i'm not from america the the stories that i'm that i told about me going to school you know with my sister and all that this was in pakistan from in peshawar my name is peshawar coyote that's where i'm originally from so that's how famous it is like it's not just famous in america it's famous all over the world so yeah um yeah i know very little but i have heard a lot from obviously my sister and then uh other people as well at school i know there are books as well which i would like to read at some point i watched game of thrones and then i realized they have books and so that i've started reading those books as well so i've recently gotten into reading like uh the fantasy genre books so i would like to read the books as well before i finish the movies but yeah Without any further ado, let's jump into the movie. First time watching Harry Potter, The Sorcerer's Stone. I think the book was called The Philosopher's Stone. I remember that when my sister was reading it. But anyways, yeah, let's get into the movie. I'm trying to set the audio levels. All right, we're good. Everything's good. What was that? I missed it. Privet drive or something like that? Hold on, let me go back to it. Is that private drive? That's not how you spell private. Privet? Privet? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. A lighter. Smoking cigarettes, bro. Well, it's kind of a lighter. <laughs> okay. Magic ting in it. All right, brilliant. What is he? 
He's stealing people's bulbs. I should have known that you would be here, Professor McGonagall. That's a cute name for a cat, Professor McGonagall. Oh shit, is that like a human? <laughs> <laughs> man listen <laughs> some people name their pets like professor whatever i don't know <laughs> and the boy hagrid is bringing him hagrid McGon mcgonagall mcgonagall oh let me write these names down these are difficult names hagrid with my life ah hagrid is the one to be trusted with your life McGonagall is the cat lady. The hell is that? Is that Hagrid? Flying bike. Okay, I've seen flying car. So, I, well, I guess it's a vehicle. <laughs> you know. Professor Dumbledore, sir. Dumbledore. I've heard of that name, actually, Dumbledore. Professor Dumbledore. That's the guy in the big white with the big white beard. Got a kid with him. Man, he's got a good uh, firm handle if the kid didn't wake up while flying. Leaving him with these people. I've watched them all day. They're the worst sort of muggles imaginable. Muggles. The only family he has. Is that like a magician or something? A muggle? Building out world who doesn't know his name. Exactly. He's far better off growing up away from all of that. Okay. So he'll be famous in that world as well. I know he's famous in this world, that's for sure. <laughs> Hagrid is crying. It's not really goodbye after all. Okay. He's big, fluffy, huge. Baby. Mr. Dursley for Privy or Privet or I don't know. There it is! There's the flash. Well, that's kind of a N or a Z or a 2, depends how you look at it. Ooh. Oh, okay. That was just an effect, right? I mean, I don't know. It's like a magic world. Maybe it wasn't. Wait, what? Ah, there are the round uh, glasses. <laughs> the hell is going on? Oh. Cousin. That's his cousin. <laughs> Wait, so <laughs> he lives in a staircase? Huh? <laughs> Why don't you just cook the breakfast and try not to burn anything? Aunt what? Aunt Tuna? What did she say? Special day. Hurry up. Bring my coffee, boy. Yes, Uncle Vernon. Uncle Vernon. So which one is, like, the relative? Like the aunt or aunt or uncle? Counted them myself. Thirty-six, but last year, last year I had thirty-seven. Yeah, yeah, yes, well, well, some of them are quite a bit bigger than last. If I talk to my parents like that at that age, well, even now, actually, I'd whoop my ass. <laughs> poor little brat. Well, he's quite big, actually. Any funny business, any at all, and you won't have any meals for a week. For a week? You're trying to kill him? Reptile house. Ah, is this where he talks to the snake? Sorry about him. There it is. Understand what it's like lying there day after day. They can understand English. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, I nodded, said, "All right." So this is the one. Ever talked to a snake before? Well, not many people do or can. Is a snake venomous? I hope he doesn't bite him. Oh, he's escaping. 
That's a huge sa snake. Thanks. Whoa, it talks. <laughs> I'm so like in that magic world, I thought that woman started to float. She just climbed up on the fence. Oh, the glass is back. He's trapped. Brilliant. <laughs> no meal for a week? Oh. Pulling his hair. Like that. Hmm. <laughs> That's one thing about, um, you know, immigrant parents. They'll whoop their own children, but if someone else touches them, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> <laughs> they're so up their own ass, aren't they? Like, they're not even that rich. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like it's not, I'm not saying it's okay to be like that if you're rich, but if you're rich, at least... You have something then, like you do, you're just broke. Ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> Little wingings, or what was that? Oh, Ma, just he's gonna steal it. Of course, he is. <laughs> Back, it's mine. Yours. We'll be writing to you. Hogwarts. Okay, I know that as well. That's that school he goes to, right? The magic school. <laughs> I'll carry the letter. Now that's truly magical. Just went right into the... Why? Why is he... What an idiot. He's not even... <laughs> He's not even doing it the proper way. Like, do it this way so you cover the whole... Uh, who cares? This goes to show what an idiot he is. <laughs> Shoot! Good! Letters? Yep. <laughs> is a letter in there? There's <laughs> a letter in the egg. There's another one. Yep. <laughs> Roll them with letters. So why don't they just give him the letter? Like, I don't... <laughs> All right, whatever, man. It's fine. It's pissing me off, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, so... I, you're going through all this. It's clearly... <laughs> not very fun for you. Why not just give him the letter? Like, receiving all the, this mail, I mean. Going to all this length, putting the log there and everything. Fine day, Sunday. In my opinion, best day of the week. Why is that, Dudley? No post. No post on Sunday? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Except, it's not a postman bringing the letters, it's a post owl, and I doubt they take any days off. <laughs> I think you have one come. Whoa, you have way more than one. Are they, do they all have letters? No, no not all of them have letters. Sir, not one blasted miserable There you go. There's one and it's blasting as well. <laughs> okay, there are more. There are more. <laughs> All of those owls brought letters? <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> Just grab one, Harry. Why are you... You're an idiot, Harry. That's what they should have told you. Just pick one up from the ground. <laughs> give me that! Give me that! All right, give it to him. Pick another one up. Like, there's so many. That's it! This is really pissing me off. Like, give him the fucking letter. I mean, like, the family should give Harry the letter, not the other way around. I thought I was gonna get to meet a wizard or something here. So they mo they actually move. They live in a lighthouse now. 
just because they didn't want to give him a letter. Ah, oh, Harry. <laughs> It's his birthday. Twelve, there it is. Happy birthday, Harry. Harry? You're not safe even here. What the hell is that? How, how many hours does it take to break a door? I guess we're about to find out. Oh, that's a big owl. <laughs> That's Hagrid, I think, right? This guy's fucking massive. I mean, I... I kind of... Realized he was big in the last one, but I didn't know he was that big. He's bigger than that door. Same width, but taller. Like, more height. Dry up, Dursley, you great prune. <laughs> All right. He's like, um, um, more along than I would have expected. <laughs> that's not Harry. <laughs> I forget his name. Hodor. It's like Hodor. Big and strong. Yeah, there's a Harry. Prayed I may have sat on it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> ah. it, he's it's it myself, words and all. Cake. Birthday cake. Oh, Hagrid. Your young man turns 11 now, is it? Hey? He's not... He's not looking at Harry. He's looking at, like, a couple of feet above Harry's head. Like his eyes, I don't know. Who are you? <laughs> Rubius Hagrid. Keeper of keys Rubius and grounds at Hogwarts. Hagrid. Of course, you'll know all about Hogwarts. Sorry. Didn't get the mail. I wonder where your mum and dad learned it all. Oh. You're a wizard, Harry. There it is. All right, now I'm happy. <laughs> Just Harry. Just Harry the wizard. <laughs> Did you ever make anything happen? Yeah, the glass. He removed. Also talking to the snake. What else do you do? Did you do anything else? I'm not entirely sure. We are. Please to inform you that you have been accepted. But he didn't even apply. Of course we knew. How could you not be? My perfect sister being who she... Ah, okay. So that's her, his aunt, I mean. She went and got herself blown up. Is it okay that I want to dropkick both of them right now? Right in their ugly faces. <laughs> that just shows how good the actors are, I guess. You'll not be going. And I suppose a great muggle like yourself's got this non-magic folk. Okay, there it is. Okay, so Muggle is... I thought they were, like, magicians. <laughs> of course he's eating the cake. So Muggles are... Well, I guess people who do magic are magicians. I don't know why I thought Muggles were, like, magicians. Insult Albus Dumbledore in front of me. All right. Lovely. Well, he looked like a monkey before as well. Now he's got a tail as well. So why learn magic if you can't even do it? Or is he... <laughs> is he the only one who can't do it? No, I don't think he wants to stay. Come on, there you go. That's your chance. You don't want to live with these dickheads. Essential bit of equipment, Harry. <laughs> All right, brilliant. Hagrid, do they mean from a real dragon? Well, they don't mean a penguin. <laughs> a real penguin. <laughs> so there are dragons in this world as well. All right, brilliant. Is, is that what I think it is? Did you just bring them to a pub? Ah, oh, Hagrid. I. Usual, I presume. I think he did. It's Harry Potter. <laughs> Welcome back, Mr. Potter. Welcome back? Oh, like when he was a little kid, I guess he was here? Oh, is this one of those things where they do like... And then like a door opens up and then... It's not what you think it is. Harry, this is Professor Quirrell. 
Professore. I see wearing a turban. I guess why does anyone wear anything? You need it, Harry Potter. He stutters. Okay. Speech impediment. All those people back there. How is it they know who I am? Yeah. The the cat lady said that he would be famous too, right? Okay. All right, there you go. It is one of those things. It's an entire, like, world. And over there, all your bits and bobs were doing your wizardry. Bits and bobs. So these are all, like, magicians? Owls are here, okay. <laughs> Bats! Be careful with those pricks. Might get, uh, you know, COVID. <laughs> Nimbus, go on focus, there it is. Nimbus 2000. It's a broom. <laughs> What's so special about it? Do you, uh, is it clean on its own? <laughs> like a Roomba? <laughs> it's a Roombus 2000. I know what they use it for. They like sit on it and it flies. It's like typical witch stuff. The hell is this? Or are those, sorry. <laughs> they are these things. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Clever as they come, goblins, but not the most friendly of beasts. Goblins. And does Mr. Harry Potter have his key? He's got the keys, keys, keys. <laughs> DJ Harry, here we go. Top secret. What? In fault. You know what? Him? He pointed to him, so... Well, not point, but like... You know what I mean, man. You know what he did. It's a fancy lock. Well, I guess they are magicians. Ah! Opens automatically. Is this real, or is this like an illusion? Because magic, innit? Didn't think your mom and dad would leave you with nothing, though, did you? Okay, it's real. I think. I'm not sure. 713. 713. What was his? 637 or something? This is very secret. This is the top secret one? Ah, you don't need a key for this one. You just need long nails. Best not to mention this to anyone, Harry. All right. And if it's that much of a secret, you shouldn't have brought Harry to that vault with you. You know? Oh, you want Ollivanders? Ain't no place better. Ollivanders, makers of fine ones since 382 BC. I think that was BC. I, I didn't really see it. Went away before I could read it. I know, I suck at reading. Please forgive me. It's like a shoe shop. All these boxes. I wondered when I'd be seeing you, Mr. Well, okay, so this guy really is famous. Everyone knows him. How, how, though? Like, he was a little baby. I'm assuming that's when he was here. He's changed a lot since, yeah? Mother and father were in here buying their first one. Give it away. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay, well, that'll need restocking. What do you mean? That was magic, right? Isn't that kind of the point of a wand? <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Okay. Not entirely sure what they're looking for. I mean, that seems pretty magical to me. I wonder. Don't wonder, bro. Just give it to him. That sounded weird. <laughs> All right. He didn't even wave it. Yikes. Yeah. Okay. It is curious that you should be destined for this one. Its brother gave you that scar. Oh, someone gave him that scar. I thought that was like a birthmark or something. The one chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. Clear. We can expect great things from you. He who must not be named 
<laughs> Bro, come on. There was he who remains in low key, you know, he who who doesn't have what do you say? He who does who doesn't have a name or something. Well, I don't know what he said. He said something like that. He who is without a name or something. Happy Happy birthday. He bought him an owl. All right, brilliant. It's better than a toad. They say it could bring a toad, right? I hate reptiles, man. I got nothing against them. I don't hate them, but I just don't like it, you know? <laughs> One wizard that went as bad as you can go. He was... His name was... <laughs> Is it not physically possible? <laughs> he can't spell it. Voldemort. Okay, so you can say you just... Okay, you're just not allowed to say it, okay. Or, or you shouldn't say, I don't know. Is it like one of those things if you say his name, it appears or something? Voldemort started to gather some followers. Parents fought. That's his mom. Not one. Except you. Why? That ain't no ordinary cut on your forehead, Harry. A mark like that only comes from being touched by a curse. <laughs> you know who. They died. I reckon he's out there still. No, he has to be, because you're a villain, right, for the movie. What's your name? You're the boy who lived. He's the one who remained. He who remains. <laughs> Connecting Loki to Harry Potter. Well, he'd be to see <laughs> no, um... His secret. He's not very good at keeping secrets, is he? Must be a mistake. This is platform nine and three. The camera is not. Okay, the, he's gone, isn't he? Yeah, he's gone. Yep. All right. So Hagrid's the Batman of this world. All right, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, when they were focusing on him and not like giving us a wide shot, I was like, Nah, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. Nine ten. So three fourths is like in that wall somewhere. Right? I don't know, man. I don't know how this works. I might find platform nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters. Think you're being funny, do ya? <laughs> Muggles! That's the one! Nine three quarters, there you go. They're gonna go through a wall, I'm telling you. Because of course they do. There it is. See this? Bro, there. Hey, there it is. <laughs> Brilliant. Told you. Well, they went through a wall earlier. Honestly, woman, you call yourself our mother. <laughs> <laughs> Twins. I'm only joking. I am Fred. <laughs> Lovely. Fred and George. It's Ron's first time to Hogwarts as well. Hmm. Now, all you've got to do is walk straight at the wall between platforms 9 and 10. Is he gonna... Good luck. It's like one of those things where he has to like do something. Like magical, I mean. Or he's just gonna go through it. He's probably just gonna go through it. Let's see. Ah, all right. I was kind of nervous. I was like, is he gonna go s smash his face into the wall? Move, bro. There are other people gonna come in, right? 5972. Is that gonna be important later? Hogwarts Express. There it is. Three by four. Easily. I'm Harry, Harry Potter. <laughs> You're a celebrity, Harry. <laughs> the mark. Scar. Scar. Okay. There it is. Flash. He's actually Barry. You know, they they just got the one letter wrong. <laughs> Harry instead of Barry. Ah, yeah, rich boy, right? <laughs> So what did his parents do that they had that much, like, gold and stuff? Or did they just summon it with magic? Spinach, liver, and tripe. A bogey flavor. <laughs> These are like, um... What are those things called? The jelly bean boozled or whatever? Frogs, are they? It's just a spell. Besides, it's the card you want. <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he's got Dumbledore. Hey, he's gone. Well, you can't expect him to run around all day. <laughs> yeah, I guess he can't. Son? 
Ah, uh, that's that. Oh, are you doing magic? Let's see them. <laughs> okay, that's that. That that girl in their group. That right, yellow. It did something. It's not very good, is it? <laughs> Let's repair it. It repaired the glasses? Oculus repair row. You're Harry Potter. I'm Hermione Granger. Hermione Granger. Um, wrong me, please. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> Okay, she's very sassy. Brilliant. Okay, yeah, there's the the gown thing. <laughs> he's huge, especially for little kids. I mean, he's huge for even grown-ups, but the boats are going on their own. No one's rowing, right? Yeah. That's Hogwarts. Looks like that Disney castle. It was like, it's really old timey building. Man, I find these kind of buildings so fascinating the way they look. The architecture, do you know what I mean? It's so beautiful to look at. That's the cat lady. They are Gryffindor, <laughs> Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, uh, Slytherin and something about a claw. <laughs> Any rule breaking and you will lose points. So now I understand when people yell out of nowhere, 10 points to Gryffindor, that's what they mean, okay. Harry Potter has come to Hogwarts. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. Hair and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a wheezy. Oh. So he's like a rich... Visiting families are better than others, Potter. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can tell the wrong sort for myself, thanks. Well done, Harry. He's a wise one. You're a wizard, Harry. So the Weasleys are like the poor family? I'm assuming. <laughs> Floating candles. Lovely. It's not real, the ceiling. It's just the witch to look like the night red about in Hogwarts, a history. Okay, we've got an overachiever right here. They're gonna have to put a couple extra tables in there, because the tables are pretty much full. And they got a lot of new students. The dark forest is strictly forbidden to remind you that the third floor corridor... Ooh, eyes are red. ...does not wish to die... Wold of Frey. <laughs> To everyone who does not wish to die. Why not just stop it to everyone? I mean, you're talking to little children, bruh. And you will be sorted into your houses. A sorting hat? Am I any Granger? What does that mean? Okay, relax. <laughs> you told that one. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Right. Defender! Okay. A hat puts people <laughs> puts people in um, Draco Malfoy in houses. Draco Malfoy, here we go. Slytherin. Slytherin. She didn't even put the hat on the. That's not a whip job, was it? Who went bad? It wasn't in Slytherin. Um, what does that mean? <sighs> what happened? This is Mark. This car, I mean? Nothing is fine. Wait, what's going on with him? Looks bad to me. Is he like the v villain? Hufflepuff. Okay, I, I, I thought he was saying like Huff and Puff. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Ha! <laughs> Gryffindor! Gryffindor. I think because, okay, so I think uh, because those three are like friends, I think they're all going to go to Gryffindor, right? Because that's how then they get to stay together. So each house has a table. Okay. Hmm, difficult, very difficult. Plenty of courage, I see. Not a bad... So it talks for some people, and for others it just straight away says 
like which house? Like for Malfoy, for instance. She didn't put the hat on his head before he said Not Slytherin. Slytherin, yeah. <clears throat> Gryffindor! Gryffindor, yeah. It had to be, like... I know those three are together. <laughs> no, that lady looked like a cat. Like a, if a human was a cat, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I got cat vibes from her. Not the Mc, McDonald or whatever. The, the, there's another lady back there. Let the feast begin. All right. Whoa, they just appeared. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm hungry now. What? Come on. Uh, dad's a muggle. Mom's a witch. Ah, half and half. Half sweet tea, half lemonade. And Professor Quirrell. Oh, that's Professor Snape, head of Slytherin House. Snape. But everyone knows it's the dark arts he fancies. After Quirrell's job for years. Quirrell? What is Quirrell? So he's the uh, professor of the dark arts or whatever? Whoa. How are you? Welcome to Gryffindor. Ghost spirits, etc. You're nearly headless, Nick. I nearly headless? Nearly headless? How can you be nearly headless? Well. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brilliant. Nearly headless Nicholas Ravenclaw. Okay. Keep an eye on the staircases. They like to change. Staircases change? What does that mean? Oh, like shift around? I was gonna say, am I going crazy? That woman's moving, but no, I'm not. She is moving. Not all pictures are moving, though. Come to Hogwarts. Like, see that man in the middle? He's not moving. The man up there with the glass. Is that a glass? It looked like a wine glass. I don't know. He's not moving. No? Oh, there it is. Caput Draconis. Caput Draconis. All right. So, what's the point of the password if you're just going to say it out in the open in front of everyone? Or is it like, so like people who aren't like, Hogwartians, <laughs> you know, like stu people who are not uh, like in the school, they can't get in that sort of thing. That thing is moving. What the hell is that? Oh, it's probably like a pet or something. I thought it was like a brush. <laughs> that's why I was like, what? Oh, that's a fat owl. And it's Quentin. <laughs> I was like, is he like missing his aunt or something? Surely not, not that, you know, <laughs> you know who. <laughs> They're late. Imagine the looking on McGonagall's face if we were late. You don't have to imagine because she's right there. McGonagall, okay, hold on, let me, McGonagall. I wrote everything else down. Didn't write her name down and hers the hardest one for me at least. <laughs> Whoa. Kicked the door open, didn't close the door. Brilliant. However, for those select few. Looks straight at Draco. Little fame, brew, glory, and even put a stopper in death. I'm entirely sure I know what that means. <laughs> to not pay attention. Actually, he is. He's writing everything he's saying down. What would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? Of course he knows. <laughs> if I asked you to find me a bezel. He doesn't know. Of course he knows. Brilliant. Fame isn't everything. Are you jealous, bro? Of a little kid? He knows. Seems a pity not to ask her. <laughs> this guy... Oh, I... He gives me like villainy vibes. Do you know what I mean? Like bad guy vibes. Put your hand down, you silly girl. <laughs> Swedell and Wormwood make a sleeping potion. So Bezor is a stone taken from the stomach of a goat and it will save you from most poisons. Monkshood and Wolfbane, they are the same plant which also goes by the name of Aconite. Okay, all that one over my head. <laughs> well, 
Why aren't you all They're, copying this? I was just gonna say I should have written it down as he was saying it. I should have taken notes. It's like a goat stone or something, and like a bezel, and I don't know, man. Note that five points will be taken from your house. Why? Because cheat. Oh, I thought because he didn't know the answer. For that, they take points off. Really? Okay. What's up with this guy? He's a slime ball, slimy little Mick. Mick Slime Ball should be his name. Into room. <laughs> He's way too young to be drinking rum, isn't he? Before. Okay. Brilliant. All ah, right, the owls. Owl man. No, not owl man. <laughs> I went the wrong way around. Post owl. There we go. Everyone's gonna get mail except Harry, because, like, he doesn't have anyone, right? Hey, look! Neville's got a remember all. When the smoke turns red, it means you've forgotten something. I can't remember what I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was just gonna say, how do you, like, if you forget something, you can't remember it, so what's the point? Number 713 had, in fact, been emptied earlier. 713, that's the, the one with the little bag thingy. Yeah. <laughs> the time for cleaning? Is this the cleaning professor? This one, this lady. Doesn't she look like a cat? Welcome to your first flying lesson. Whoa. Her eyes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> first attempt. Oh. Draco, all right. Oh. Oh. All right, so is it like one of those things where like Harry has like strong magic or something? And also Draco since he got him too? Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. Shut up, Harry. No. Shut up, Harry. Mr. Longbottom. He's flying. Mr. Long. Mr. Longbottom. <laughs> do, do do the brooms just fly on its own? <laughs> Autopilot. Is the Model X? <laughs> oh boy. All right, brilliant. Oh dear, it's a broken wrist. Oh, broken wrist. And he's gonna steal his rememberal or whatever. Rem rememberal, right? Or oh, is it remembrance? Rem I think it was rememberal. Yet will find themselves out of Hogwarts before they can say Quidditch. Quidditch. What does that mean? Maybe if the fat lump would give him this a squeeze, he would remember to fall on his fat ass. <laughs> give it here, Malfoy. Weren't. Weren't they not allowed to fly or something? Fit beyond your reach. No, <laughs> he's gonna follow. No way. You heard what Madame Hoop said. Besides, you don't even know how to fly. I think he does. An idiot. <laughs> Stickler for rules. All right, brilliant. Oh, that's the Mc, uh, McGonagall. Oh no, is he gonna lose points? Is everybody gonna start hating him because like because of him they keep losing points? That sort of thing? They're happy now, but <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Potter Follow me. Oh no. I have found you a seeker. Oh. Oh no, he's not in trouble, okay. I see. Seeker. I always knew he'd do well. Seeker. What does that mean? You must be the youngest Quidditch player in a century. Quidditch. Oh, we'll vanish occasionally. <laughs> turn up in a month or two. <laughs> no pressure. You won't make a fool of yourself. It's in your blood. Huh? What's in his blood? Whoa. Man, it's like his dad or something? Yeah. James... Potter. Oh. Seeker. Was that McGonagall on the right? Or was Mick uh, something? Gonna, gonna, uh, something like that. Okay. She knows more about you than you do. <laughs> she, yeah, everybody does. And also, she knows more about everything. Case of change, remember? 
Man, why? That's so inconvenient. Now they're going to a place that I didn't want to go to. Like, what the... F you know what I mean? Like, it looks cool and all, but it's so inconvenient. Unless you can control it. Like, which way... What the hell is that? The third floor. It's forbidden. This is the third floor. This and that forest, right? The dark, the dark forest, the forbidden forest, something like that. Quick! All right, they've got sensors. The flames, they're light up when you get near, near it. Alohomora. Alohomora. All right, brilliant. Alohomora, standard book of spells, chapter seven. Of course. <laughs> How do you not know that, idiot Ron? <laughs> there he is. I hate his f face. Walder Frey. When I see him, I remember Walder Frey, and I just want to... Mmm. Anyways. <laughs> Two dogs. Three dogs. All right. That's not three dogs, that's one dog into three. <laughs> Three-headed dog. dog What do they think they're doing? Keeping a thing like that locked up in a stall. Yeah, well, you weren't supposed to go there, so... Didn't you see what it was standing on? I wasn't looking at its feet. <laughs> you didn't notice. There were three. It was standing on a trap door, which means it wasn't there by accident. Ah, uh, it's guarding that trap door. Or something inside that door, I guess. I'm going to bed as killed. Or worse, expelled. She needs to sort out her priorities. <laughs> she does really. Anyways, um. Ah, right, here we go. Players, three chasers, two beaters, one keeper, and the seeker. Okay. Seven players. Whoa, why are those. This one's called the Quaffle. Now the chasers handle the quaffle and try to put it through one of those three hoops. Quaffle. That's me. Defends the hoops. With me so far? Mm-hmm. What are those? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> Boom. Hey, go. Not bad, Potter. <laughs> I don't think he meant it to go there. Uh oh, coming back, coming back. Come on, keeper. Ah, oh, lovely. What? So what does that pleasure do, do? The golden snitch. The golden snitch. It's wicked fast and damn near impossible to see. You catch it. <laughs> Before the other team seeker. You catch this, the game is over. You catch this pot, and we win. There's wings. One of the wizard's most rudimentary skills. Standing on top of books. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Everyone? Swish and flick. Nah. <laughs> I was gonna make something appear on the screen, but nah. It's too much work, bro. I'm lazy. <laughs> Levy Osa. Not Levy Osa. It's Levy Osa. Well, she hasn't... Wingardium Leviosa. Well, she said it exactly like the way she said not to say it. And it worked. Here, everyone. This great has done it. Oh, Leviosa. Well done, dear. He's skipping an entire section of that spell. Hmm. <laughs> he lit it on fire. Why didn't he do that to the cup earlier as well in trying to... Turn it into Levi cup oh, room. <laughs> Not Levio, <laughs> She's a nightmare, honestly. She's right there. Friends. I think she heard you. You think? <laughs> I like how that other kid still got the <laughs> the hair and everything. Pumpkin spice latte. All right, what is it? Halloween. You got candy and stuff. It might be Halloween. Or like in a equivalent to Halloween. I don't know if they have like real holidays. Like from the real world, I mean. Ronnie. Patel said that she wouldn't come out of the girl's bathroom. She said that she'd been in there all afternoon, crying. Ron Weasley? Maybe an apologies due? Turn her all in the dungeon! 
Okay. Thought you ought to know. <laughs> Please. He's got a bit of boom in his voice. I like that. Authority. We'll lead our house back to the dormitories. Teachers will follow me to the dungeon. Hmm. Respect my authority. Okay. It's a badass boss. He doesn't know. All right, Hermione's still in the uh, bathroom, probably crying. That's quite normal, you know? It's kind of unfortunate, but, you know, like that kind of behavior, I mean, like, kids crying over the little things, and, uh, well, I mean, it's not little to her, I mean, do you know what I mean? It's little to me, but, and the other kids, but not her, clearly. The uh, hell is that thing? Uh-oh, 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 duck! Shrek! <laughs> it's Shrek! Oh, boy. <laughs> That's not gonna do anything, bruh. Pea brain! <laughs> Probably has a pea brain. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That was a close one. Well... <laughs> Poke his eyes! Poke his eyes! Oh! What? <laughs> this guy is a pea brain! He's missing his own... <laughs> Guardian Leviosa! Leviosa! Okay! <laughs> there you go! It worked! Brilliant! See? This pay... <laughs> <laughs> Does pay off to study in it. Oh, move, Harry. <laughs> Harry is gonna fall on you. Oh, he's fine. Okay, I don't know why I thought he was falling on his face so that, like, you know what I mean? The wand was gonna go through his brain, up into his nose, through the brain. That's how anatomy works, right? <laughs> Just knocked out. Yeah, got head in the head. Ooh. Oh no. Yo, what the f Don't clean it with your robe. You're gonna wear that your Oh no, Harry. You nasty. I went looking for the troll. I read about them and thought I could handle it. That as it me. It was an extremely foolish thing to do. Why is there blood coming out of... And did she just lie? Why did she lie? I don't think she... Five points will be taken from Gryffindor. Five points. Awarded? Will be awarded. Hey, so they break even. Sheer dumb luck. <laughs> Why is his foot bleeding? Perhaps you ought to go. Not my way up. <laughs> This guy is so scared, and and that's fine. It's just that he's the professor of the dark arts or something. How? How could you be that scared when you deal with the dark arts? If you hadn't insulted her, what are friends for? Hey, they're friends. <laughs> Brilliant. Today, I'm not hungry. He's limping. Good luck today, Potter. And again, now that you've proven yourself against a troll, a little game of Quidditch. Ah, Quidditch. Okay, I'm like, what do you mean good luck today? Against Slytherin. Slytherin. That's his house, right? You come here to intimidate? Yeah, he's definitely limping. I thought he was when he was walking in. Blood? Blood. Tonight, I'm guessing Snape let the troll in as a diversion, so he could try and get past that three-headed dog. Define what's down there. Said it was Hogwarts business. Very secret. Mm-hmm. Okay. Male! That looks like a broom. You know that thing they fly on? It's a gift. <gasps> I recognize that curve shape. That's the Roomba. <laughs> 2000. The Nimbus 2000, right? I think so. The, the curve... 
Yep, that's a Nimbus 2000. Nimbus 2000! Mm -hmm. Ah, she did. But how did... How did he know she bought that? Do you know what I mean? Like, he got a gift and he was like, but who did? Oh, you did. How? <laughs> He's a wizard! You shouldn't really be surprised, eh? A little. That's all right. I like how he has a better stick than the captain. I don't really remember. <laughs> I took a bludger to the head two minutes. Okay. Woke up in hospital a week later. So I'm not entirely sure what the point of the bludger is. I mean, they explained what that... Wait, which one's the bludger? They explained what the big one was in the middle, like, that has, like, whole curves in it. You put that through the rings, right? But the one that moved... Not entirely sure. The snitch is what the seeker catches, and when he catches it, then the game ends, and they get 150 points, and they win. I think that's what he said, like, uh, I th I, if I remember correctly. And so, but what are the two other balls for? Clean game. She looks like a leopard. It gives me cat vibes. I think it's the eyes. I'm not entirely sure. And the hair as well. Blushes are rough. Followed by the golden snitch. Remember, the snitch is worth 150 points. The seeker who catches the snitch ends the game. The seeker? What? So, what happens if a non-seeker player catches it? The quaffle is relieved. Quaffle, okay, yeah. So that's the one you gotta throw into the rings to get points. <laughs> The bludger's just going all around the park, taking a stroll. There you go. How many points is that? Ten points for Gryffindor. Ten points, okay. Ooh, okay. I am very confused as to what the whoa! Brilliant save. That's the captain. Whoa, wood. Oliver. No, that's a stick dude, right? Oli Olivander is a stick dude. Olivander. <laughs> Colazione! Let's go. That's another. That's 20 points. Another 10 points to Gryffindor! 20 nil. Hey, what? <laughs> Whoa, okay. That's a skipper down. He looked like he had about three extra teeth. <laughs> Go! 24. Why are you standing? Well, floating there. Why don't you go after the snitch? So Gryffindor is red and yellow. Slytherin's green. Yeah, why is he just floating up there? Oi, lovely. Trick shot. Is that extra points? No, it's still 10 points. Okay. 2020, 20 all. Game's tied. There it is. Come on, Harry. You're a seeker, Harry. I'm not entirely sure what the point of the bludger is. Oh, what is happening? Someone controlling them? What's going on with Harry's broomstick? That's what happened to that um, that kid who broke his wrist, right? Someone was controlled. For a second there, I thought it was the guy sitting behind him. I forgot. Quaffle, Professor Qua No, Quaffle is the ball. Something. It's like Quaffle... Quarrel. Professor Quarrel, I think. I know he's the head of Slytherin, but why... Why interfere in the game? That must be, in, like, illegal, right? Inflamame or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Flame. He's good? He's good? Whoa, was I right? I might have been... R I'm gonna look like an idiot if I get this wrong. I think I'm, I might have been right. Because he, like, elbowed him. Snape, that is. Snape, right? Yeah. The, the purple dude behind him. And then they did, like, a close-up on his face. <laughs> And then the spell sub, but then also Snape wasn't concentrating, so it could be Snape as well. 
All right. Hey, brilliant. Well, that's very dangerous, especially considering that they can hit. Like other players can hit you. Or, oh, did he swallow it? I think he swallowed it. Well, he caught it, right? There it is. Don't let it go. And that's the end of the game. Let's go. Gryffindor. Slytherin lost. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it might be Snape then, because he didn't look too happy about that. I'm not trying to... I'm just going to stop predicting. How about that? <laughs> I can't, though. I have to. <laughs> told you about Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy. Has a name. Well, of course he's got a name. A name like Fluffy as well. Irish fella I met down the pub last year. And then I lent him to Dumbledore to guard the... Yes. Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> yep. He's pretty good at keeping secrets. Yep. Top secrets in particular. You've got to keep eye contact. And Snape wasn't blinking. Yo. Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Nicholas Flamel. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Who's Nicholas? Nicholas. There was that ghost thing, right? The near, nearly headless Nick. That's Nicholas. But what was his last name? I don't remember his last name. What a beast. Holy shit. Look at that. No, I was uh, going to say if eye contact is what. You know, it's how you do magic. And it wasn't just Snape. Although Snape was saying, like, spells and shit, too. I don't, well, I don't know what he was saying. But the guy behind him, he was doing like that, and he wasn't breaking eye contact, either. I feel like this might be a misdirection. But I will also feel like an idiot if it ain't a misdirection. <laughs> if it's just straightforward. Wait, what? <laughs> Lovely. I see you've packed. See you haven't. Packed for what? Visit my brother Charlie. Charlie bit me. Oh, they're going home for holidays. Okay. It's Christmas, right? Okay, so they do have real holidays. There it is. Happy Christmas. Yep. What are you wearing? <laughs> Ugly Christmas jumper. I am. Hand it. I've got presents. From whom? Oh, what was her name? McDouglas or something? McGonagall. She seems to be giving him gifts and stuff. I'm just gonna call her Cat Lady. <laughs> Hold on, let me... Snape Quarrel. I'm not entirely sure if I'm spelling these correctly, but... Uh, I mean, if I can make sense of it, you know, that's all we need, right? So their parents left this with them. What the hell is that? Is that like a blanket? Whoa! My body's gone! <laughs> Invisibility cloak. Come on, Harry. What do you think is more likely that your body's gone or that you're invisible? To be honest, both are unlikely. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. But I do. I do. Restricted. So can they hide the, the lamp thing as well? Like in the cloak because it's like light right guess if they turn it off then they can oh well, i don't know they might <laughs> that genuinely scared me what the f <laughs> oh it's fire fire oh it's out okay great okay i thought a whole library was gonna be light on fire well you can if you have the cloak can the professors tell if someone's using a cloak? Show yourself. This guy's weird. Also, they're just invisible, right? Like, they, they can still touch them. Like, if like you put your hand, like, forward, right? Like, invisible doesn't mean you just disappear completely, right? You're still there, just not... They're not able to see you. Oh, that's his cat. I was going to say, is that like the Mc, Mc, uh, McGonagall? But no, that's just his cat. Maybe it is McGonagall. Who knows? You don't want me as your enemy, Quirrell. 
Oh, they can feel... Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> All he had to do is take a step back. I'll have another little chat soon. Okay. He's realized someone's here. Decide where your loyalties lie. That means there's a student out of bed. Yep, there's definitely a student out of bed. Wait, he said we're gonna find out who you're really loyal to or something like that? What does that mean? Now I'm thinking maybe Quirrell was like trying to put anti-spell, like he was trying to undo Snape's spell. Do you know what I mean? Like help Harry out or something. I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> I was trying to read it, but it's not English. That ain't English. Oh, there's people in there. Is that his parents? He got his eyes from his mom. Yeah, look at those eyes. Brilliant. Dad. Wait, is his mom and dad like trapped in the gla in the mirror or something? He has to like break him out with a spell. Hmm. Oh, he's still in the cloak. <laughs> Ron! Ron, come on, get out of bed! Why? There's something you've got to see now. And they're looking for students who are out of bed, so they're gonna check the beds and both of them will be out. They're gonna lose, like, more points. Okay, so you can hide more than one person in there. That's cool. Me? Holy, I'm head boy. And I'm holding the Quidditch Cup. And bloody hell. And oh, okay. I think I know what's going on. The <laughs> they're not trapped in there. I think it's... This mirror shows the future. No, 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 no. I think what it shows... Both my parents are dead. What it shows is what you really want. Like, the thing that you desire the most. And I think for Harry, it's pretty clear that he wants to be with his parents. He wants to meet his parents. For Ron, since he has his parents, he you know, he has other wishes. He's thinking about his parents. Yeah. Hmm. So his mom, Ron's mom, made one for him too, with an H. No. We're going to visit Hagrid. No. He wants his parents. Don't. Something not right about that mirror. Hmm. He's back. Back for more. Back again, Harry? Again? So he... So he's seen him before. Just didn't say anything? The happiest man on earth would look into the mirror and see only himself. Hmm. Because he has everything... Right, because he has everything he wants. What we want? Yeah. Nothing more or less than the deepest and most desperate desires of our hearts. Okay, yeah. Kind of similar to what I said. Never known your family. You see them. How does he know that's what he sees? I guess he overheard him talking to Ron. So he was just Loki chilling in their corner watching him and saying nothing. Dumbledore. Man, I wish I could fly. <laughs> There's a lot I wish I could do, but you know. Look at you, playing your cards. Pathetic. <laughs> Got fine exams coming up. Okay, of course. Of course, Hermione. Final exam? Copy off you? <laughs> We're to be given special quills, the witch with an anti-cheating spell. That's insulting! It's as if I don't trust her! <laughs> yeah, as if... <laughs> Ron, I wonder why they don't trust you. Dumbledore is particularly famous for his defeat of the Dark Wizard Grindelwald in 1940. Grindelwald. Three of the twelve uses of dragon blood, and his work on alchemy with his partner Nicholas Flamel! Nicholas Femmel was his partner. Like reading. This is 
<laughs> she, <laughs> she's acting like a mature woman. Here it is. <laughs> Nicholas the sorcerer's the stone. Of the sorcerer's stone. The sorcerer's stone. Honestly, don't you two read? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> the legendary substance with astonishing powers. It can transform any metal into pure gold and produces the elixir of life, which will make the drink from mortal. It can turn any metal into pure gold. That's how Harry has so much gold. That pouch thing that had the stone in it. They probably use it to convert like shit into <laughs> for like Harry and then put it in the vault. Snape is one of the teachers protecting the stone. It's not about to steal it. It is quarrel. Although Snape has been way more sus than anyone, really. What the hell is that? Is that like the qu quaffle? The ball thing. What exactly is that? That's a dragon egg. Wait, is this really a dragon egg? He said he wanted a dragon, right? Yep, that's a drag. Is that a dragon? Yeah, that's a dragon, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a dragon. All right, let's go. Hagrid Targaryen. <laughs> Father a dragon. Just one, not dragons. Oh, bless him. Look, he knows his mummy. <laughs> mummy. Well, mother a dragon. There we go. <laughs> Your beard is on fire. Your defense is terrifying. Okay, Mouthful. well, it's the golden snitch. <laughs> He's gonna tell someone. There's no way he's not telling. Worse, Malfoy knows. Of course he knows. There you go. Yep. Bad. It's bad. Told ya. Golden snitch. Evening. There he is. Little prick. Nothing. I Look at that. Look at that. Standing over there smiling with his ugly smile. And actually he's pretty cute, but you know. <laughs> Fifty points will be taken. Fifty. Fifty. Ooh, 150, shit. All four of you will receive detention. <laughs> Him as well? No, you heard me correctly. <laughs> snitches get stitches. Well, as your intentions were, you two were out of bed. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> Brilliant. Just attention? Slytherin doesn't get points taken away from him? Die. Oh boy. <laughs> Walter Bloody Frey. Well, that's not so bad for the three. Malfoy on the other end. Don't tell me. It's gone. Dumbledore sent him off to Romania. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, but what if he don't like Romania? What if the other dragons are mean to him? <laughs> oh, I love Hagrid. All right, you know, because he's from um, Game of Thrones. I just got Game of Thrones flashbacks of... Uh, what was it? Forgot her name. The Sansa's well, dog, man. Oh, oh, wolf, sorry. There you go, wolves, yeah. They kill it, don't they? Lady... Lady. Okay, that was her name. Lady. The wolves. Yeah, what the hell is that? Looks like Mercury. It's unicorn blood, that. It's servant stuff. Oh, shut up. I say you were scared. Yeah, he is scared. He's scared a little... He's a little kid. Can't even say anything bad. <laughs> That's the unicorn. You found him. He's a bit more than... Wounded. Well, what the hell is he doing? I'm weird. Okay, he's drinking or uh, or eating him. Drinking him? I was gonna say drinking his blood, but eating him, as I guess. I thought he was performing an act that is not appropriate for this movie, so I don't know why I would think that, but... Well, I know why I would think that, but... <laughs> Anyways... the hell that's like a 
Horse human. Human horse. Half horse, half human. Half and half. <laughs> half sweet tea. <laughs> half spicy, half mild. Oh, there it is. Leave. You are can talk. The forest is not safe at this time. He's bloody ripped. Man, he's in good shape. We'll keep you alive even if you are an inch from death. Oh. But at a terrible price. What's the price? Something so pure that from the moment the blood touches your lips, you will have a half-life. Half-life? Oh, curse life. Okay, I'm like, what's a half-life? Oh, oh, he... He who remains or whatever? Voldemort. Voldemort, that's his name. Hello there, friends. Man, he's in good shape, Ferenz. <laughs> the ladies must love Ferenz. I mean, he's jacked. And he's half horse. And in all the right places. I mean, you know who's out there right now. You know who, that's... I can't, you know who, okay. They keep switching it. Say like he who doesn't have a name and then he who you know who or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> Voldemort, okay. Hold on, let me write this down. Voldemort. I think that's how you spell it. Voldemort always feared. Nigel or whatever? Oh, Dumbledore. Dumbledore's around, Harry. You're safe. Nicholas Famel. Why did I say Nigel? I don't know why. Nicholas Famel is what I meant. Dumbledore, okay. But they were both partners, so. Whoa, hold on. So is Grindelwald. What is. Is that a person or a place? Because they, the card said he defeated him, right? Or something like that? Something along those lines? They defeated them, I should say. Dumbledore and uh, Flamel. So, is... Don't you think it's a bit odd that what Hagrid wants more than anything is a dragon? And a stranger turns up who just happens to have one? Oh, yeah, that's kind of... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So when Voldemort is around, his head hurts, right? Who gave you the dragon egg? Well, of course he was interested in fluff eat, is to know how to calm it. Yep, so you told him how to calm it. He falls straight asleep. All right. I shouldn't have told you that. You shouldn't have told that guy either, or girl, I don't know. Well, if it is Voldemort, then it is a he. He who... He you know who... What? Something like that, man. Dumbledore is not here. He received an urgent owl. Oh, shit. Sir Stone. How do they know? Yeah. And steal it. How do you know that? <laughs> that was no stranger hack from the village. It was Snape, which means... Snape? So you said Voldemort first, now Snape? I don't think it's Snape, man. People will think you're up to something. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> These two really don't like each other, do they? I mean, it could be him. He's got... Well, they have all got the robe thingies. I thought it might have been Snape at first, but then they said it's Voldemort, so... Man, I've jumped around from so many people. We'll get Gryffindor into trouble again. Trificus Totalus. Whoa, what? Oh, wow, I think he hit his head. That is not good. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> he hit his head though. I'm, I'm sure he's fine, but you got three people in there. Oh, the thing lit up so it can feel the their presence still even though they're invisible. Music is playing. And he's asleep. The, the fluffy they are asleep. Is it I think it's snoring. Yeah, music's playing. Snape's already been here. Put a spell on the harp. No, okay. I think it, they're 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 th they're trying to throw Snape under the bus like way too much, and that's what's making me think it's not it's not Snape. Like every chance they get, they're like, "Oh, Snape did this. Oh, Snape is up to Snape. Snape like that's it's too obvious. That it's not him. At this, I shouldn't have said that. I'm like Hagrid. I shouldn't have said that because I'm gonna look like an idiot if it is Snape. Some Whoops, he's up. Just one head or all three? Does it seem a bit quiet? Quiet. <laughs> quiet, yep. Well, I wonder why. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, my God. All right, jump down there. Uh -oh. What the hell is that down there? 
So that dog who's supposed to protect this waited like a good five to ten seconds before attacking. Do you know what I mean? Whoa, what the hell is this? Is this a snake or is this like roots, tree branches and stuff? I think it might be tree branches. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Do what I say. Oh, she's fine. Did you just go through it? Aaron! Relax, Ron. Ron Don. Ronnie boy. Is there a relaxing spell? <laughs> you know what, Hermione? Well done. Sounds like wings. It's the golden snitch. It's got wings, right? Sounds like it. Fluttering. Sounds like it's fluttering real quick. Oh, what the hell is that? Curious. These are keys. I've never seen birds like these. They're keys. Yeah. I see it. The one with the broken wing. <laughs> so they, <c> <laughs> they couldn't put other keys that look like that up there, but then they wouldn't know, I guess. They had to be able to differentiate. Oh, broomstick, you can. You're the youngest seeker in a century. Is that a good idea? I think that room is enchanted or something because why is it up there instead of on the floor this complicates things a bit yeah just a bit <laughs> just a little teeny tiny bit there it is you got it right hey. yep they got it you gotta time it and they timed it whoa Hmm. Okay. He loves playing chess, doesn't he? So you gotta make like certain moves to open a door or something. One of those shebangs. Okay. Now what do we do? Go around them? No? Alright. You'll be the Queen Psychos. I'll be a knight. <laughs> Sir Ron Weasley. Wait, what? so how? What? <laughs> He's climbed on the horse. There you go. It is like real. Get off the horse, Ron. <laughs> Ron Don. Ron Doggy Dog. That's the bishop. And the castle or whatever, tower or whatever that is. Then you're free to check the king. No. Ron, no! What? He's going to sacrifice himself. No, you can't! So... Uh, he means his peace, right? Not his actual self. I mean, why don't you get off the horse? Why is he still on this? What? I, what? Yeah, why was he on that? Like, I don't... Can you not play if you're not on it? Okay, he's alive. He's breathing. I have to go on. You'll be okay, Harry. You're a great wizard. <laughs> you're a wizard, Harry. You're a great wizard, Harry. It's that mirror. Whoa, that's Quirrell. Who would suspect? Poor stuttering Professor Quirrell. I did. All right. <laughs> I tried to kill you. Cloak hadn't caught fire and broken my eye contact. I would have succeeded. Even with Snape muttering his little counter curse. It was the other way around. Snape was trying to save him. Oh, that was Halloween, okay. Snape, unfortunately, wasn't fooled. But he doesn't understand. Oh, so it was his when it... It wasn't Snape. When, you know, he put his hand on his head the first time he looked at Snape? It was him. Come here! Oh, that's not him. 
Oh. It's in there? Lies. Tell the truth! Where is... What the f... Harry Potter! That's Voldemort? Voldemort. Yes. So it was him, Quirrell, in the, vo in the vo woods, drinking the blood. Well, his backside. Stop it! You can join me and live. Why would you want to live if you look like that? Like the fuck? I'd like to see your mother and father again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Uh-oh. Is this it? Come on, Harry. He can return. The stone? That's not real, Harry. That's not real. Don't do it. They're not real. They're not real. You liar! Kill him! You can fly. The hell? Uh oh. Wait, what? Whoa! What is happening? What is this magic? Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Is it this? Okay, so he just killed Voldemort? Is that it? Is that the end of Voldemort? I thought there was gonna be like a huge battle or something. Did the stone give him that power? Pro they probably explain- oh, okay, what the hell is that? They probably explained this shit, but I don't just don't remember. What happened? What? Well, I'm confused. Get well. It has an owl under it. Get owl. <laughs> what happened down in the dungeons between you and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret. Naturally, the whole school knows. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on, that scared the shit out of me, that picture back there. Only a person who wanted to find the stone, find it, not use it, would be able to get it. That is saying something. Yeah. There are ways in which he can return. Okay, so he's not gone. It was because of your mother. She sacrificed herself for you. Leaves a mark. Oh no. This kind of mark cannot be seen. Well. Love, Harry. Hmm. Yeah. So how many points does Gryffindor get? <laughs> or how many are detect deducted? It's gonna be booger or something, isn't it? A lot. Earwax. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Oh boy, that's Ron and uh, Hermione. I think so. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm so happy I was right. Ooh, I was a bit worried. It's like I'm chatting so much shit. I'm gonna get it wrong. Slytherin. What are the colors of the other houses? So red and yellow, green, and what? Two others, right? Another year. Oh, whole year's gone. Gryffindor all the way at the bottom. Third place, Hufflepuff. I already forgot how many points Gryffindor had. In second place, Ravenclaw. Whoa, that's a pretty good, pretty big jump. Wasn't it like 350 something for Hufflepuff? And in first place, Slytherin. 472 points, Slytherin. And that's a pretty good jump as well. Hmm. <laughs> Even in victory is not smiling, Snape. 
No wonder everybody thought you were the baddie, including me. I might have a few last minute points to award. To Gryffindor for the mirror? Hermione Granger, cool use of intellect. Others were in grave peril. How do they know? 50 points. How do they know about that? They told him, I guess? Or was he watching again somewhere in the corner like last time? To Ronald Weasley, best played game of chess. Ah, okay. 50 points. That's 100 points. That'll bring him up to 400 f something. That's still less than Slytherin. To Mr. Harry Potter for pure nerve and outstanding courage. I award Gryffindor House 60 points. 60. That'll just take him over Slytherin, right? I think. Thing is, I don't remember how many points they had initially. Tied with Slytherin. Great deal more to stand up to your friend. Ten points to Neville Longbottom. They tried to stop him at the dorm, right? Told him not to leave, but they put a spell on him. Is he okay? He did hit his head. <laughs> Brilliant. Gryffindor wins. Oh, so... So everyone just knew before he announced who won? Because all the flags were Slytherin, right? And now they're all Gryffindor? <laughs> Gryffindor. Hurry up. Wait, where are they going? Heading home? So he's going to the Mun Munsley, what was it? Burnsley or something? Thought you were leaving without saying goodbye, did you? <laughs> Fuck. J.L. James and... I don't remember the other name. Lara? Laura? Lorraine? <laughs> Is this guy actually this big? You could always, um... Threaten him with a nice pair of ears to go with that tail of it. <laughs> You're not allowed to do magic away from Hogwarts. You know that. Yeah, well... Cousin, don't do he. <laughs> also, he did it, so... I don't think he cares much. I'm not going home. Hmm. Hmm. This is his home. Hogwarts. Doesn't hog mean, like... Um... Like a pig? What does warts mean? Pig warts. <laughs> Is that the end? I think that might be the end. Chris Columbus, all right. Any post credit scenes? Oh, they didn't have that in 2001. <laughs> Probably not. We will see, all right. All right, no post credit scene. This ain't Marvel or Disney. This is Warner Bros. All right, so that's that movie done and dusted. Okay, it was a pretty good movie. I really enjoyed it. Good story. There's a kid who's a orphan who has to live with his uncles. It's actually very similar to my story as well. I lived with my uncles pretty much all my life. But anyways, yeah, his treatment, his, uh, not uncle, actually, it's his aunt, but then her husband becomes uncle automatically, but the aunt and, you know, and that was a bit weird to me. Like I said, I've lived with my uncles all my life, so I've never been mistreated ever you know and so that was a bit awkward that was a bit weird a bit annoying i mean i know it's supposed to annoy you it's supposed to make you angry that's i get that but why like i, I also understand that the, 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 he's not their own so the treatment might be a little different between their own kid and him i understand that too but th there's a difference between treating two people differently and then just completely mistreating someone you know what i mean i don't know so humble beginnings and then he becomes probably the richest kid in that school with what their his parents left him pretty sure his parents used the stone to turn that or i don't know his if his parents did or who did but someone used it to turn metal into gold i think that's what they said using that philosopher uh, the sorcerer's stone i wonder why they changed the name but yeah just so happy i got it I got it. I got Quirrell. Well, kind of. I wasn't really sure. I was just... To be honest, I blamed everyone. I was like, Snape, it's Snape. 
it's squirrel it's <laughs> anyone that came to mind you know i was like it's them uh but, you know i was bound to get one of them correctly <laughs> there's a lot of setup it was a very long movie two hours and 38 minutes almost 39 minutes that's a very long movie but i get it. i mean it was the first one they had to do some world building setting up things this is where you get your wands is get your get your uh what do you say bobs and boobs or whatever <laughs> That's not what I meant to say. But anyways, you know what I mean. Bobs and Bits, I think he said. Bobs and Vaganas, anyways. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's a good movie. I will be watching the rest of them as well. I'm just doing one movie a week. One thing I do find a bit weird, and it's not just this movie. It's pretty much every single movie that is like this, is you have these three kids, right? And and they're, they're, they're first year kids, right? They're not like, they're not even the kids who have been in the school for a very long time, so they know a lot. It's just three kids who just entered the school so they don't have that much knowledge nor do they have that much skill or magic or any of it right and then they are somehow able to go through all these puzzles and all these traps and stuff that the professors have set up to guard the stone right and then you're like well okay what how all right fine whatever it's a magical world i guess you know so that was a bit weird also if snape knew that quirrell was up to something which quirrell said his snape knew he found out but well, why didn't he tell the others like dumbledore and mcgonagall and you know other professors i guess he wanted to stop him himself but he couldn't he didn't even do that i mean i don't i don't know there were a couple of things that i was like that could have been done you know a little better the cgi was questionable but i didn't comment on that because here's the thing i this movie was released in 2001 so of course the cgi is not going to be as good as it is today so that's why i just didn't comment on that at all um but i did notice it it was a bit you know but that's fine like i who cares right <laughs> as long as you're able to tell what's going on even if it's not the best it's fine it's all right you know i still don't know what those two bludgers i think they're called the balls that move on its own do what they're supposed to do you get points with the quaffle and you get points with the golden snitch but what does the other two balls are they just to assault each each other the other players is that is that the, their sole purpose i'm not entirely sure yeah overall a very good movie I'm, I'm so excited to see the next one i almost want to see it right now so voldemort is still alive so we're I, i'm assuming we're gonna keep seeing him as one of those things where they don't really catch him catch him until like the very last movie or well i don't know we're gonna don't answer that obviously we're gonna find out in the next movie or the next one after that or whatever uh but yeah uh it's a pretty good world it's a magical world i've recently very recently fallen in love with this uh, magical fantasy sort of genre and i think i have to thank game of thrones for that before game of thrones i i wouldn't even like see this kind of stuff like i it just wasn't my cup of tea and i saw game of thrones i was like Oh, this is kind of nice, you know? <laughs> I really like this movie. I enjoyed it quite a lot. I'm looking forward to seeing the next one if you are enjoying these as well. By the way, I'm doing Marvel movies as well and other horror movies and just random films as well. So if you have any suggestions for films and TV shows, you can let me know in the comments down below and I'll uh, watch them uh, when I get time. But yeah, if you're interested in stuff like this, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and uh, do suggest other films and shows as well in the comments down below. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...